Hi, and welcome to this quick demonstration of Excalibur Obsidian 1.6.20. The first feature I want to show you is the bind unbind text from container. If I select this container and right click, I can choose unbind text from the context menu and with this the text is now unbound from the container and it's just a normal text element. If I select the container again and the text, I can again select in the context menu bind text to container and this text is again container bound. This feature is great if you start something in a text element and you want to move it into a sticky note, now you can do it. The other set of features are a bit more complicated. I've added additional support for you to customize how the export from XCollidraw will work and now you can specify this at a file level. So all of these settings already exist in the plugin settings but that applies to all of your drawings. Now you can override this at a file level. Let me show you how some of these work. If I open this drawing, I'm going to open the five hat tracks. This is a drawing that I prefer in light mode. And because if I switch this to dark mode, this, the colors just don't look that good. I prefer this drawing in light mode. And I want to have this image inserted into my daily note in light mode. So what I've done is in markdown mode, I added this front matter tag, Excolitro export dark false. And the way you can type this in is you start to try type Excolitro and you press the dash. And with that, you get all of these front matter tags prompted and you can choose. So this is, just an easy way to access these front matter tags. But if I set this to export dark false, if the export dark front matter tag is present, it tells Excolidraw that I want to override the default theme for the image. If it's false, it means it's in light mode. If it's true, then it's in dark mode. So if now I come to my daily page, you can see that this image is now embedded with a light mode background and note that in Excolidro settings if I scroll down here to the uh, embed and export I actually have Excolidro preview to match obsidian theme and you can see that my other drawings actually match the obsidian theme I can switch the appearance to light mode and then you will see that well I need to refresh these drawings because uh, Obsidian will refresh the view when the document is loaded again but you can see that these have changed their themes I'll, I'll switch this back to dark mode while the drawing with the five hat tracks did not so that's one front matter tag the other front matter tag I can demonstrate to you here this is an SVG export here and you can see that uh, the end of this line is missing and that is because if you have a curve sometimes that curve goes outside the bounding box and in this case you need to set a padding. There is a padding by default uh, here in Excolidro settings but the padding is typically uh, not that uh, not that large so in this case the svg padding the default is 10 i would need to increase the svg padding but maybe i don't want to increase it for all my drawings because this is a special drawing with this curve otherwise i don't want that big padding around it so what i can do is i can open up this drawing i can go over to markdown mode and i can type in x call it raw export and this is the svg padding and here let's say i'm going to set this svg padding to 50. now if i come back you can see that now this image has this padding and that looks uh, i think much nicer because now the full image is in here and in this case i just want to show you one more front matter tag i can 
set the export to uh, have a transparent background. So X call it raw uh, export transparent and I'm going to set this to true. And now if I come back to my daily page, you will see that in this case, this image is true. So it doesn't have that black uh, background, which is the background color. Uh, this image is now embedded uh, with a transparent background. And then the final key here is the export PNG scale. And if there's an image you want to export with a much higher resolution or smaller resolution, you can use the PNG scale. So for example, if I come here, I just go, I'm just going to show you, X call it raw export PNG scale. And I'm going to set this uh, to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which means this image is going to be a very small image. And now I will export to PNG and let's just reveal this in the file navigation. And here my PNG is a small PNG image, which is by the way, uh, transparent. And if I come back here, I can Actually, I'm going to X call it raw export. Uh, dark is going to be true. And I'm going to now change the PNG scale maybe to four. This is now going to be a high resolution export. And if I switch back here, and do my PNG export, then if I check this image, then you can see that this is now a larger image. And also you can see that this was exported with transparent background and with the dark uh, mode. So these are the functions I wanted to show you in this release. And I understand that the front matter tags might be a bit more complicated. I recommend that you play with them and I promise you it's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Thank you.